Welcome to CAT Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be doing practice problem 9.9. .9. Now, we're given a phasor, uh, a si sorry, a sinusoidal voltage of this form, and we are asked to find V of T and I of T, so that is I of T and that is V of T, which is, of course, this inductor. Now, to have everything in the same form in terms of impedances, this is what you basically do. So, for an inductor, to find its impedance, you basically say JWL, right? And this turn is in the place of W, which is omega, which represents the angular frequency. So ZL, which corresponds to this 0 0.2 Henry inductor, it's going to be J. Turn, which we got from there, multiply by L, which is 0 0.2. So this is J2 ohms. So then the impedance of this inductor is j2 ohms right so now we have everything in ohms in the same uh it is in the same units so now here we are going to transform this into a cosine so we can transform the sinusoid into its corresponding phasor so to do that we're just basically gonna say vs is equals to 20 cos then say 10 degree, 10 T, sorry, plus 30 degrees, and then subtract 90 degrees. The result will be 20 cos 10 T with an angle of negative 60 degrees, and the corresponding phase will be 20 with an angle of negative 60, right? So now that we have this, we are going to proceed to find what we have been asked to find. So to find I, since both of these are in series, they have the same current through them, and therefore we can just divide the total voltage by the total impedance. So now we use the formula which says V is equal to ZI. So the voltage is equal to impedance multiplied by current. And that, that is basically what we're going to use. So to find I, we're going to say I is equal to V divided by Z. And our total voltage is this which is 20 with a, an angle of 60 degrees divided by the total impedance. So the total impedance is 4 plus the impedance of the inductor, which we found to be J2. So 4 plus J2. And the answer to that will be our current, right? So punching this into your calculator quickly, you're going to say 20 with an angle of negative 60 divided by 4 plus 2i, right? That is what we have, which is equals to, now let's transform this into its uh, polar form. So the answer then is 4.472 with an angle of negative 86.565. So the answer is 4.472 with an angle of negative 86.565 degrees in amperes because this is the current. Now we're going to transform these answers later. Let's just leave it like that for now. So to find V of T, which is the voltage across the inductor, we're just going to do voltage division. So V, which is this V across the inductor, is equal to the total voltage, which is 20 with an angle of negative 60 degrees, multiplied by the impedance of the inductor, which we found to be J2 then divided by the total impedance, right? J2 plus 4, or 4 plus J2, doesn't really matter. So now, this is how we find our voltage, right? So V is therefore equals to, we're just going to punch all of this into your calculator, so 20 with an angle of, okay, so 20 with an angle of negative 60, multiplied by 2i, then divided by 4 plus 2i. And we're going to transform this answer into polar form. After transforming this answer into polar form, this is what we have. We have 8.944 with an angle of 3.435. Right? So 8, this is our answer for the voltage. So we have 8.944 with an angle of 3.435 degrees. 
So this is the voltage and this is the current. So now let's transform these into the form which the textbook wants, which is a sinusoid in the, the function sign. So this corresponds to 8.944 cosine of 10t. And this 10t comes from this original sinusoid, 10t, and add 3.435 degrees, right? To transform this into a sign, which is the required form in the textbook, we're going to say V is a for equals to 8.944 sine 10t plus 3.435, and we're going to add 90 degrees. So the result is going to be this 10t plus 93.435 degrees, and that is your voltage. Now, the same thing is going to apply to our current. We're going to have 4.472 cos 10t negative 86.565 degrees, and transforming this into a sign, we're going to have 4.472. We're going to add 90 to this. And therefore, the result is going to be 10t, adding 90 to that, we're basically going to have um, 3.435 degrees in amperes, because this is our current. So I of t is equal to this, and V of t is equal to this.